Hello everyone, Manny here and welcome back to Project Vault. Okay, so as everyone can see, we got our uh, large atrium kit fully constructed. We still haven't decided what we wanted to do up there. Um, I have taken back a bit of the pathway because it just was kind of clogging our view. So we're probably going to work with that a little bit later. But for now, what we really need to do is get our power system situated. Now, what I had realized is that the power uh, generator is going to have to go inside of the large atrium. And since these rooms are actually really big, uh, we're going to go on ahead and situate it in here. Now, I've already done uh, something over here, and I'll show you guys how it's built in just in like a bit of a fast motion. As you can see, we have two rooms, uh, and they're separated by hallways. Now, we can't do that over here because uh, the reactor is kind of big, and it needs like almost this entire space. So we're honestly going to be just playing with parts to see what we can come up with over here. Maybe we can get like a ceiling. Uh, and then get maybe, uh, I don't know, a breezeway up there or something. I don't know. It's going to be wild. Uh, just stay tuned. Right, so I'm going to start with uh, basically just some tunnels. And right now I'm just going to go on ahead and put down my basic parts. Okay, and then that will uh, show me my spacing. That way I can get my windows in nice and even. I like that. And actually, uh, hmm, because we're going to be able to get a door in here too as well. Alright, and then I think our generator is going to kind of sit like in the middle of this room. Maybe offset just slightly. Okay, so I'm just going to pretty much fast motion uh, all this rest of this room and then putting the generator in. So now that we have primarily uh, the main shape, I didn't want a whole bunch of wasted space in here because the reactor was just so big that it wouldn't allow us to put a, a floor in for a second floor. So what we're doing is we're basically just rudely uh, cutting out the area right for the power generator. And then we're going to make it look nice with some cool railings and things like that. I was thinking about uh, going with um, some type of like pillars in here, but I didn't want to affect the space. But let's see, maybe we can put one like in this corner right here. These pillars seem to like to go inside of things, but I guess not this time. Might be because we have the roof up here. Let's just pop the roof off and see. No. No joy on the pillars. Honestly, it just doesn't seem like it should need them. The floor isn't really that suspended. Uh, if you guys know a little bit about uh, <laughs> architecture, which I kind of don't. But I've built enough stuff in game to have a fair mind of it. Now, what I don't understand is why there are no like reverse angled rails. I don't know. I ain't gonna waste the whole video putting up rails again, but this place is looking pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. So, while I think about what I'm gonna do with the railings in here, why don't you guys check out me building 
uh, the other side over there because that's going to be more of like our command post area.
That was pretty quick and cool. Okay, so back over here on the power room side, what I've decided to do is I had to pull out the atrium prefabs that you guys saw here because they were just kind of messing up with uh, what I wanted to do. So I'm just going to go pretty much and make the prefab myself. I already kind of got it mocked up on the other side. We're getting into tight constraints in the vault now. Not size wise, we can we can manage that, but like on a sharp like the Because what we need is for it to be flat up here. Actually I think we need a doorway on this side, if I am not mistaken. Yeah, because we have plenty of room to get a cool pathway over there. But unfortunately we don't have the room on this side, so we're just gonna go on ahead and finish this off okay and I don't even know why I want it I just, it just look cool that's probably the only reason why I want it I'd be like yeah so now I probably need to decide which side I like that all right let's try that let's see what we get no right, because some of these don't really work too well together and some work not at all. I mean, I can't believe how hard it is to get the railings right. But, you know, that's just how it goes. Oh, look at that. See, it was like, Manny, simplicity, bro. Simplicity. And honestly, we really don't need this one, but... I just wanted it. And then I'm gonna put me some neons at the bottom of it just to make it look all cool. All right, that's weird. Maybe we gotta flip it, no? That's weird. I think it's cause it wants a door there. We didn't give it a door. So maybe there's another piece we could use. It's always something strange. That's kind of why I've just been keeping the jetpack on lately. Well, this one met up, so I guess it's not that strange looking. I think this is the one we wanted. But it is not meeting up. But I guess I'm alright. No, that looks... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, win. Yeah, that looks cool, man. And now we got our little overseer's pathway. Let me see. Oh yeah, we got the room. We got the room. We'll be fine. Get back in. Oh no! <laughs> Guys, we're almost done with the large atrium. At least for now. Uh, decorating we still gotta deal with. But I was showing everyone what type of lighting I was using. Uh, I like a multi-directional light, so I like light that pop off the wall and light that comes from the ceiling. It tends to make the whole room brighter. So what I'm doing is I'm putting these, uh, I don't know, they kind of look like vents to me. So it's like your air conditioning units or your air filtration system is uh, also doubling as a light source for you, which is pretty cool, man pretty cool so anyways I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll take a tour I mean it won't be finished per se uh, it'll just be like kind of sort of finished because we still got a lot of decorating to do and then I think I'm going to max the settlement budget oh, look, it's pretty bright in here now yeah, I think I'm gonna max the settlement budget uh, with each like a uh, wing of the facility okay I had some trouble with this the last time uh, might end up having trouble with it again let's see if we can get one here okay um, because like you really want some lights up here but you don't really need the grandest of lights you just need something to try to fight back the shadows that's why I was going with these oh and they work cool man I don't know about if they're going to go all the way, but no, they only went halfway. So we're going to have to find us another spot. All right. Oh, <laughs> like I said, we're going to have to find us another spot to uh, get those 
those other lights powered but if we get back in here yeah you can see now our we got like lights all the way to the top so it gives a real uh, interesting look with all the shadows it gives in here I kind of like this place this place is pretty sharp maybe it's like some facilities and some benches and stuff and maybe some bros also need to look up how I can pack this place full of settlers because like we're gonna need a whole bunch of people for this zone but then we're gonna also need a whole bunch of people for the other habitation modules and we still got this middle section to finish up but man looking for over here man looks pretty awesome all right so i'm gonna go on ahead and run the rest of the lights off camera um so yeah thanks for watching like share subscribe stay tuned for more fun this has been man faces signing out make sure you guys put what you think in the comments below and give me some ideas for what we can do with this place because as you can see man it's just tons and tons of open space and we still need something cool to do up there and we got a lot of neons and stuff like that to run. So anyways, take care, everyone.